What's up everybody, it is General Heed here. How is everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be tackling a very old mystery from the Halo 1 days, or Halo Combat Evolved days. Um, but, uh, what we're going to be tackling specifically is the mystery of the three dead grunts at the very bottom of the pit at the beginning of the mission, Assault on the Control Room. So, a lot of people actually did have pretty close theories about like why the three grunts are down there and I'll show you guys uh, how to get down there right now so uh, at this point when the pelican starts to touch down when you get out quickly press uh, whatever button you use to get into vehicles in my case the B button because I'm a bumper jumper but just press that and you'll get right back in the pelican and you'll actually be able to ride it out of the map and to the bottom of the pit so just uh, you know sit back and relax and enjoy the ride down now this won't work on MCC on MCC the Pelican's flight path is kind of a little broken. It's not quite the same as on OG Xbox 360 CE. So it will just kind of crash and it will get stuck and you won't make it down. But if you have the 360 version or even the original Xbox version, you should be fine. But uh, yeah, so people used to think the three grunts at the bottom. Uh, the, the best theory that I've seen on, like, on the Halo wikis and Halopedia is that... The three grunts were from the cutscene, and they were actually killed during the uh, cutscene, and then just spawned down there. It's a pretty close theory, actually, but I'll I'll show you the exact proof, video proof, in a bit, and explain exactly what happens, really. Uh, but anyways, we have touched down to the bottom here. So the three grunts are somewhere at the bottom of this pit. They might be a little easier to spot in classic graphics because they might have a silhouette to them, but it shouldn't be too hard to find them. You should land pretty close to them. So here they are, the three grunts, three dead grunts all together in the same spot. Uh, their bodies are pretty much uh, merged together because um, they spawn in the exact same spot. Uh, and of course their weapons dropped over here. So what are these three grunts down here? Well aside from that one theory about them teleported for the cutscene and then uh, killed afterwards, or killed beforehand and then teleported down here. Uh, some other theories I've heard were people saying that um, bodies actually landed down here when you killed them at the beginning, whether throwing grenades or something or stuff like that. Um, you know, plenty of theories and you know some of them make more sense than others. But the uh, the correct theory is actually the cutscene one. But from what I've read online, I don't think many people have nailed down the exact um, cutscene theory. Like they they've been pr they were pretty close, but I'll show you guys exactly like what happens behind the scenes and how it all goes down. <laughs> Uh, literally <laughs> but uh right here i'm using a mod to put my camera down here at the bottom of the pit before the cutscene starts and then we're going to see exactly how the grunts spawn down here so as you can see they spawn down alive for like a split second and then just instantly drop dead after that and you can pretty much see they all spawn in the same spot and uh because they drop down a little bit their weapons kind of bounce a bit of a distance away from them but that is uh basically how they spawn down here um, so now we can see how that exactly happens. They don't, they definitely do spawn down here. They don't fall down from the top of the map. So we definitely can rule that one out. Um, here it is in classic graphics. Uh, in classic graphics, it can be a little hard to see from a distance. So we have to be kind of up close to see it. Of course, an anniversary is a little better, but you know, whichever one you prefer. Of course, to come down here with the camera, you either have to use um, the console commands on a PC version or the uh, mods on the 360 version. On MCC, you won't be able to get down here during the cutscene. Actually, on MCC, like I said, you can't even get down here at all. It's kind of a, I guess it's a semi bug, if you will. But yeah, so how do these grunts get down here exactly? And which ones are the ones that come down here are the big questions now. So let's go back to the beginning and take a look. So here is the cutscene from a different angle as it happens before the pelican arrives. And let's see what happens here. So as the pelican spawns in and flies up, there's the grunt that gets scared and runs away. Uh, it actually doesn't run away, it actually just despawns here. And poof, there they go. So it's actually these three grunts on the edge, near the ledge here. Uh, let me just circle them for you. It's these three that despawn and disappear. Now, you might be thinking, there you go, case solved, right? Three grunts that go poof. So, according to what people have written on Halo Wiki and Halopedia, uh, it's three grunts in a cutscene that get despawned and teleported down there. 
and then um, that that get killed and then teleported down there. Uh, more specifically, to quote exactly what the wikis say, but it's actually not those three grunts. Now, of course, the the uh, what I've read people say before on the wikis and stuff, they never specify exactly if it's uh, which grunts. But I can confirm to you, it is not these three grunts here. These three grunts just simply despawn and are gone for good. The uh, the grunts of interest are actually the other three grunts that are sleeping, that wake up now and then they run away and run to this door here. Um, these three grunts are the ones that actually get teleported. And let me show you guys from another different angle so you can see exactly how it happens, how it literally goes down. <laughs> so once again, cutscene begins, Pelican comes in, and the three grunts on a ledge, they completely despawn, they are not teleported. Because if you remember, uh, they teleport in a sequence, so... Here you go, the Grunt 1 teleports, Grunt 2 teleports, and Grunt 3 teleports when each of them hits that little spot there in this hallway. And then after that the other AIs teleport in to attack you. But basically, those three Grunts, as they run in, let's watch it again, as they teleport, as each one teleports at the bottom of the pit, that is when we see each one teleport, see 1, 2, and then 3. So that is exactly what happens. It is the latter of the three grunts, of the six grunts there, that are actually the ones that get teleported. It is uh, not the first three grunts that despawn in the cutscene. Uh, and they certainly are not killed beforehand before teleporting. They are teleported alive. And, you know, it's only for a split second that they're still alive down there, but they, uh, they pretty much get teleported and just drop dead after that. Um, now, you may be asking if there's a way to save the grunts. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I suppose if you could, like, mod the script of the game, you could change it so that they don't die. There's no, like, script to kill them when they spawn in. But that's, you know, at that point, you're not really saving them. Um, not even, like, you're just... I mean, I guess you are saving them, but it's not really, you know, the way we usually save things on this channel. So, um, you know, we won't be doing that. But, yeah, so there you have it. That is why these three grunts are at the very bottom of the pit. Uh, there were some theories out there that were very close. Um, you know, actually, they might have been correct. They just didn't specify which grunts uh, teleported down here. But uh, at least now we have video proof, and we are able to see uh, the entire process of them getting teleported down here, and we know exactly which ones and how they how it happens and when it happens. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you guys did find this to be interesting, and if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, uh, as always, and then, you know, if there's anything else you want me to check out or look into, or any other mysteries you want me to tackle, if you want to know why something is where it is, or something like that, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to look into it when I get the chance. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys!